Alright, how's everybody doing today? Back again with another video for you guys. And today what I have for everyone is my unboxing and first impressions of the Moto E 4 Plus. That's right, say it with me y'all, got the plus. So, if you checked out my Moto E 4 unboxing, it's similar. I like the presentation, nice colorful box. With the highlights on it, so you got the Motorola logo, uh, device name, got Lenovo, because it's Motorola, now a Lenovo company, device name again, got some stats on this side, um, warnings and whatnot, got some specs, 5.5 inch display, HD display, 5000 milliamp hour battery, splash proof coating, Fingerprint sensor, 13 megapixel camera, 5 megapixel front facing camera. It's got a uh, 10 watt rapid charger in here. You know, other stuff we're going to go through as we go through this video. So, pretty much all I did so far was pop the back off because the back on this guy is user removable and put my SIM and micro SD card in. Set it up, went through the setup process, jumped out to the home screen, packed it back up, ready to go. So, that's the tray that the device sits on. And you have your micro USB charging cable, got a ton of those. And you got your 10 watt wall brick. I don't know how well y'all going to see that, but it does say 5.2 volts at 2 amps. So... You might have some serious rapid charging in here. We're going to test that out. I'll let y'all know in the full review. Then we got our uh, user manual quick start guide. And then we got our Amazon account stuff down there. The usual. Because you know this again. Again, I got the Amazon ad supported version from Amazon. I am an Amazon customer. And we get some really good discounts on these Amazon ad supported devices. So y'all know I had to bring it in another one. So that's pretty much everything that comes in the box. Pick this one up via Amazon again. Let's put this box off to the side. Alright, now let's look at the device here. So up front, dead center here, got a 5.5 inch full HD display. That should be 720p, so another 720p display. Got our 5 megapixel front facing camera. Got our front facing speaker, which also doubles as a receiver. And again, we got front facing flash here. On this side, we got our volume up and down buttons. Again, the power button is ridged here. Across the top, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Along this side, we got nothing. Along the bottom, we got our micro USB charging port. Sorry if it's a little hard to see, guys. Microphone. Okay. On the back, got another microphone. This one is an upgrade over the Moto E4. This is a 13 megapixel rear firing camera and flash. Motorola logo. This one is smooth this time, just like a paint on. Whereas the Moto E felt more like a divot. This one's just, okay, this has been painted on, painted on. And I do believe that this back housing is a metal material. So that's nice. And then across the bottom on the front here, got our fingerprint scanner. And as y'all can see, because it already lit up a few times, got our motor display right there. There it is. You can see your Amazon ads right there. So jumping in, you can see you got all of your Amazon apps. Again, you keep what you keep. You disable what you don't want. You can uninstall some stuff here. But I know some of you guys like to see how it looks fresh out of the box before I even do anything to it. And so you can see that I do have my SIM in it. It's searching for service. I think I gotta walk outside so service can lock on. Then we'll be good to go with the T-Mobile. And again, I got the email because I signed into a new device. 
And okay, it's asking me to format my micro SD card. Gotta do that too. But fresh out of the box, you can see here's all your Amazon apps and more Amazon apps, Google apps here, Play Store, um, Google Photos because they don't have a gallery app, camera, dialer, and Again, because it's an Amazon ad supported version, you got your Amazon ad widgets, all that good stuff. So let's jump into the settings here. And you can see, again, this is Android 7.1.1. As you can see down there. So we've got Nougat here. And let me jump to the storage. So you can see, fresh out the box, before I even do anything, we're using 6.1. 71 gigs out of 16 gigs now this does come in two models you got your 2 gig of RAM 16 gigs you got your 2 gig of RAM 32 gig alright so the 32 gig is gonna run you about $20 more but it is what it is alright so fresh out the box there you guys go now first impressions keep in mind guys all I did was take it out of the box, run through the setup, and land on the home screen. First impressions, this guy is massive, okay? It feels very good in the hands with that aluminum metal brush finish. It's nice, but I can already tell you, this bronze is probably going to be slippery as all you don't know what, okay? Now, a real quick comparison. Because I got the Moto E here. If I'm just compa comparing how they feel in hand. Now these both have removable backs. This one has a 2800 milliamp hour battery. 2 gigs of RAM. 16 gigs of storage. This one has a 5000 milliamp hour battery. 2 gigs of RAM. 16 gigs of storage. But just comparing how they feel in hand. This one feels nice. The texture on the back plate actually adds a little bit of grip. Whereas picking this one up, this one's very slick to slick to the touch. Yeah, I feel like if I'm not holding this properly, it's gonna slip out of my hand. So we might definitely need to pick up a case for this one. But all in all, I'd have to say that first impressions from this guy are really, really good. Guys, I'm actually getting getting nostalgic. Because the last device that I had with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery in it was um, the Blue Studio Energy. And that was one of my favorite, favorite devices. Particularly if, just in terms of battery. I could throw the kitchen sink at that thing and then some and still make it through the day and then some. So I got very high expectations for the 5,000 milliamp hour battery in the Moto E Plus. But we're going to save all that good stuff for the full review. And hell, even if it lands on par with the Moto E4, it's still going to be really, really good. Because the Moto E4 gets some really, really good battery life. Anyways, guys, this has been my unboxing and first impressions of the Moto E4 Plus. If you guys enjoyed the video... Please give your boy a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. If you want to see more raw, uncut content like this, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click off the notification bell icon so you get notified when I post new videos. And as always, don't forget all links to where to purchase this guy at some really good prices will be down in the video description as well as links to the micro SD card that I'm using in this guy and maybe a case or two that I may decide to pick up. And as always guys, y'all can look for the full review on this one in about a week and a half to two weeks. We're going to go through everything, let y'all know how I feel about everything, and then let y'all know whether or not I recommend that you pick this guy up. Uh, so y'all be on the lookout for the full review coming in about a week and a half to two weeks. And as always, if y'all know anyone out there looking for some high quality, affordable devices and products at some really great prices, please share with them my channel because I'm doing this for everyone because we all deserve the best. Alright guys and gals, I hope everyone has a great day and I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.
5,000. Yeah.